Welcome to a short video on Glance. Glance is a website developed uh, as part of the Inclusive Exploring Computer Science Project supported by the National Science Foundation. Uh, the Exploring Computer Science curriculum that our project uh, is meant to make inclusive to students with visual impairments has a data analysis unit and currently that unit as it is is not uh, accessible to students who are visually impaired and so what we have done is we have developed Glance and so with Glance uh, this is a web-based page that students can use to in order to be able to listen to data in addition to those students who are able to see the data. This is the main page for Glance. Uh, in, in this page it describes what Glance is and how to get started and so uh, when doing so and getting started, there are two options. One is to load a file, uh, a comma delimited file. These files can be created in, in Excel, for example, or other programs, or to create a new table. I'm going to start with loading a CSV file because we have some pre-made. So I click on the button, I select a file, and I open that. From that, I can then select the type of graph we can do line graphs, bar graphs, or scatter, scatter regression lines. And so I will, do, I will do a line graph to get started. Click Submit. And in this graph, you, if, you're, if you're able to see the line, it goes um, kind of an up and down, uh, a very extreme up and down motion for uh, the first couple of peaks. And then it has uh, smaller peaks that are slowly decreasing. Um, and so in doing so, the first part of the page shows the graph. And so one can see uh, the values as they are depicted visually. And then in the area below the graph, you are able to uh, interact with the data directly. So there is currently one row of data and uh, a column for each month. So there's January through uh, December. And uh, the numbers are, are integers, and so uh, for row 1, January is 21, February is 34, March is 57, April is 81, uh, May is 22, and, and so on. You can add in new rows or new columns or remove rows or columns. Um, as it is right now, I'm going to keep this as it is. And below that, one is able to adjust the audio controls. Um, you can hear one row of, of data at a time. There is currently only one row. You can adjust the speed, and I'm going to make it a little faster than what it is. That way the sound happens a little faster. And then you can adjust different kinds of ways of hearing sound. We have a sine wave, depiction of sound, triangle wave, square wave, or sawtooth wave. Um, as it is currently, the sun wave is the most pleasant to hear, so that's the one I'm going to play for you. Um, and so I'll get back to that in just a minute. Underneath that, um, if there is uh, each row of data would have its own symbol associated with it, so um, the uh, the line that is currently there have little circles attached to it, and so that way one can follow uh, one line from another and differentiate them. If there was another row, it would have perhaps little tiny squares or tiny triangles attached to it and so forth. And then below that, um, you can adjust the, the site background, um, the graph background, uh, and the text color and so forth. You can high contrast or make other adjustments. Uh, the other thing that is provided for you uh, is, are some very basic statistics. Uh, for, for each row, and so for this row we have uh, the maximum value, the minimum value. Uh, the maximum value is 93, the minimum value is 8. It provides the average, which is 45.083, and the medium value, which is 46. Uh, so just kind of some real rough descriptive statistics there. Uh, I'm going to play the sound, and so that way you can hear it. Again, this is one row of data, uh, which for this example is all the data. And so see if you can 
here the differences in pitch to detect um, the highs and the lows. The, the lower the pitch, the lower the value, the higher the pitch, the higher the value. So that's the, hearing the data. Uh, I will play it one more time. Okay, so that's it sped up a little bit. So it gets a little it's a little bit getting used to that um, to hear the data uh, at various speeds and kind of really listen to the pitch. And as if you uh, on your own are able to speed it up or slow it down as you need to. Uh, and, and so on. Let me show you another uh, set here. Let's see. This example um, has four rows of data, and again, you are able to hear one at a time. Uh, this Data also is separated by, by months for each column. It doesn't have to be months, but that's just kind of how we arrange the data for this. And uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, here I'm showing you the data, uh, so you can kind of see the, uh, the shape and that there are four lines. Um, but I'm also going to play a couple lines. So the first row, um, I'm going to play to see if you can kind of hear the shape of the data. Can you tell what that sounds like? Let me play it again. That's it sped up a little bit. Um, the shape of that data is, is a slowly rising uh, to a peak and then uh, going down. So it's just one uh, long growing peak uh, and then descending. The second row, I'll just play the second row, I won't do all four, sounds like this. Again, I'll play it again. So it has kind of a similar shape, but there are some differences. Um, and so um, they both have that slow ascension and then uh, descending, but the values are a little bit different. And so um, some of the values in row one, it peaks at a higher uh, value uh, than it does for row two. But the other difference is that with uh, row two, it has a uh, there. It can it actually kind of ascends a little faster, uh, and so with that, it kind of has a, a faster rise to it. It's it's rather subtle, but it, it kind of gives you a couple of examples of something that has roughly the same shape, although some of the details are a little bit different. Um, I will just add another row real quick. Okay. So row five, um, I'll just add in a couple values here. Now mind you, I, this, this is compatible with a screen reader, so if I had it on, um, you wouldn't be able to hear me so well because it would be talking the whole time. But uh, it does uh, support the reading of the data and, and uh, allow you to navigate between the different areas of the page. So on row five, for January I'll have, I'll put three. February I'll have uh, 20, March I'll have 50, April I'll have 10, and May I will have 5, June I will put in 30, July 36, August 3, September 22, October 10, November 
15 and December I'll have 40. So I kind of have the, this different notion of how the data changes. Now, on the uh, visual graph, you'll be able to see that this new row has been added instantly. And with that, it has uh, little triangles associated with it, if I'm able to look at them correctly, or diamonds. It's kind of hard for me to tell from this distance. But it has uh, multiple peaks. However, these peaks aren't as high a value as the other rows were. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play that row 1 again, um, and then I'm going to compare it with row 5. So again, here's row 1, that first one you heard. Again, that, that growing ascension and then descending there. And then row 5, which we now have available to us. You can hear that one. So I'll play it one more time. Now that one seems to fluctuate, so you can hear that. Now one of the things you hear is very low tones because some of the data that I have are single digits or, or you know, up to like three or just ten. And so because of that, the, the sound will become very low in tone. Um, but the other values, when you get into the, the 30s and 40s, for example, um, sound much, much higher in comparison. And so you're able to kind of get a sense of the fluctu fluctuation. So again, I'll play it one last time so you can hear that. And there you go. So this is just to give you a really quick overview of it. Um, this is something that is continuously in development. We, have, we already have little user interface changes that we want to make as it is. Um, but I just wanted to give you a nice sense in terms of what the Glance project uh, as part of the Inclusive Exploring Computer Science project is about. And uh, we look forward to having you try it later on. Currently, it is hosted on GitHub, uh, uh, which is a uh, system to allow projects to be hosted. Uh, so we have all our code up there and everything, but you can also access the project there currently. Um, but uh, we will, once this is a little bit more mature, we'll, we'll move the website somewhere else and make sure that people are informed accordingly. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.